think if I'd known I was going to have to walk this far to the work site, I might have brought my pickup a little closer. Uh, uh, Come on, Stumpy. I'm tired. I don't want to go to work. Don't take your time. We got work to do. It's Monday. Looks like we got lots of work it's to do. It's not fun day. Where do we begin? Oh, man. Well, I see some, I see some bricks. I see bricks. I see some wood. Oh, some roofing parts. I'm good at roofing. Okay. How about you? I ain't figured out what I'm good at yet. Well, I know I'm good at lunch. <laughs> I, so I brought my lunch. That's a good I one, Fred. I don't want to forget my lunch. No siree. Hey, here's some tools. <sighs> hmm. Are these tools? I'm not sure. Not sure. Well, it don't matter. We'll figure it out once we get started. Let, right. Let's just start putting it together. All right. I'm just, all about getting started. Just put it together. I'll start stacking bricks and you cut some wood. I can cut wood. Okay. I can I think cut that's wood. A, I think that's a good plan. I can cut wood. <laughs> oh, man, these are heavy. Is it? Is it time for break yet? I'm tired. No. Oh, okay. I'm cutting wood. Oh, I'm, I'm moving bricks. That's good. That's good. Oh, if this gets any heavier. I know. Let's see. Whew. I'm kind of getting tired. I kind of think. I think like I'm going to ask for a raise. Job. Oh, I picked the wrong Stumpy. one. Ugh. Oh, Ugh. here's some more wood. I think we better make it tall. Oh, that's not a saw. Oops. I think it should be taller. I just got a saw. I think we're there. Now, roof, what I learned about a roof is it goes like this. Well, good job, Fred. It goes like that. Well, let's have a look. Hmm, something just don't look quite right to me. Well, if you, if you tilt your head and look at it like, well, no, no that didn't no, 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 no. I think, I think we're missing something. What are we missing? Is there something up here? Uh, got bricks. Okay, got my lunch. Bricks. Got my lunch. <laughs> uh, Anything up here? No. What? Anything up here? Oh. What? Hey, look at this. What are those? What are those? Well, these are the plans. The plans. We should have had the plans. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, plans. Okay, plans. Plans first. <laughs> I don't think ours looks like this. Mm. What are you doing? I'm looking at it with my mind. Is it helping? Nope, didn't help. Didn't help. Well, Goodness. what are we going to do now? You know, I hate to say it, but I think we're going to have to start over and start at the beginning. Right now? <laughs> How about we eat lunch first? <gasps> Great. All this work, it's made me hungry. I'll tell you what, I'm hungry. You know what, Stumpin'? We just need to remember that we got to start with the plans. Plans. Check. We got to start with the plans. You're in charge of the plans, Fred. Man, I'm glad I got lunch. Oh. 
What you got? I think the wife sent me crackers again. Uh-oh. Well, I'd like to share maybe if I could. I think I'm going to go quick stop and get me a burrito. Mm, no burritos. Oh, come on. No burritos. You know what happened last time. Well, what did Fred and Stumpy forget? What did they forget? Yeah. The plans, right? You gotta have a plan. And if you don't have a plan, then what? It doesn't work, right? It ends up with what they built or put together. Well, all this makes me think of a story. It starts with this guy. Do you know who the little guy is in this picture? David. David, right? So we've got David and Goliath. King David, as he would be later known, had an idea, a little bit like thinking something in his mind. And he said, Lord, I'm going to build you a house. And the Lord said, no, you're not. But one of your kids is. And so wouldn't you know it, David has a number of kids. After he dies, one of his sons becomes king, and his name is Solomon. And Solomon built the Lord a temple. And Solomon had a plan, all right? Let me share with you a little bit of the specifics. So this is kind of drawn out. They didn't have this. They just had the plan, all right? In the, four, in the 400, 480th year after the Israelites came out of Egypt, in the fourth year of Solomon's reign over Israel, in the month of Ziv, in the second month, he began to build the temple of the Lord, all right? So listen. He's going to start not with the stuff, but with a plan. The temple that Solomon built for the Lord was 60 cubits long. So about the length of, from my elbow all the way up to my hand. That's a cubit. 20 wide and 30 high. And the portico at the front of the main hall of the temple was extended the width of the temple. And that is 20 cubits. And projected 10 cubits from the front of the temple. He made narrow cholesterol windows in the temple against the walls in the main hall in the inner sanctuary. He built the structure, blah, 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 blah. Wow, there's a lot of very specific information here, isn't there? Solomon got plans from God. He said in building this temple, though, only bricks dressed at the quarry. So they had to bring the bricks already cut to shape. They had to do it a specific way. So that nothing like iron being beat against stone would be heard at the job site. And then the word of the Lord came to Solomon as he's kind of getting ready to do all this. And he's following the plans that you see behind me. And he says to Solomon, as for this temple you are building, if you follow my decrees, carry out my regulations, and keep all of my commands and obey them, I will fulfill through you the promise I gave to David your father. And I will live among the Israelites and not abandon my people, Israel. Wow. So Solomon starts with this very specific plan. Any idea what this thing looks like in the end? Can you imagine it? Yeah, what, what do you imagine when you think about it? It's going to be big. Maybe your teachers will help you mark that out so you can see about how big it is. Actually, it's not as big as you might think. Someone else, can you imagine what this thing's like? It had gold in it and cedar and all this ornamental stuff. What do you think it looked like? There in the back. A big curtain. That's right. Kind of in the Holy of Holies, there's a big curtain there. Someone else, way in the back. You missed out earlier. Yeah. It's a palace. We don't know exactly what the first temple looked like, but it might have looked like this. This is kind of the dimensions. But it all started with... A stone? No. What did it start with? A plan. A plan. We've got to have a plan. When God gives us a plan, we have something we can build with. Without a plan, we get this, right? All right. Well, I want you to take that with you as you head to your classes. Tanya, if you will leave us in a little bit of singing.
we have a missions project. And Monica is going to be telling us about our missions. And whenever you're ready, I have the totals for tonight. Hi guys, I'm Monica. I see so much orange out there. It's awesome. All right, so our mission this week is going to be Habitat for Humanity. Who has heard about that before? I see a couple of hands. Has anybody seen it real close to us recently? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to learn a little bit about what Habitat is. Habitat was founded about 45 years ago, or over 45 years ago. A couple and a man decided that they wanted to make something called partnership housing. And so they wanted to help people who couldn't maybe afford a house on their own, but they wanted to not only build it for them, but help them build it. And so they welcomed the families to help them build houses. And then that family felt like they had a stake in it too. And then what they did is they offered it to them with like low interest, which that means it's pretty cheap for payments. So their first, their first house that they built was for a family with five children who came from a shack with no plumbing. And so they helped them build a house that they could have plumbing and electricity and live with their children in a house that was nice and strong and comfortable for them. Um, and then they took it to another country and decided to help people in that other country build it too. And then they founded it officially called Habitat for Humanity International in 1976, so that was 45 years ago. Today, Habitat for Humanity now is in all 50 states and they're in over 70 countries helping families all over, uh, all over these countries. Uh, countries build houses. Yes, you have a question? Yeah, even our country, even our state, and we'll get to that in just a little bit. Um, and it has helped more than 35 million people have houses. So that's pretty cool. That's what we're going to support this week. Okay, guess what? Habitat for Humanity is building a house in Weatherford. Everybody knows where Weatherford is, right? So if you go on Caddo, which is the Brown Street, and you go north, you will run into a sign that says Habitat for Humanity, and they are building a house right now. And they are currently building the house, and they are in prayer to help find a family to move into it. And then they will continue to build houses, and then that family will help them. So what can you do to help Habitat for, for Humanity? It says it right there. Yeah, go ahead. Pray. Good job. So we can pray for the families that are moving into the house. We can pray for the volunteers that are helping, for the staff who find everything and find the resources. You can volunteer. You can ask your family to go. There are masses of man who goes to this church, and he is on the board for the Weatherford Habitat. And you can ask him or go online and have your family see how they can help. And the last thing that you can do is donate money. And so there's a hint. We're going to buy bricks. So this week we're going to help with the Weatherford Habitat by buying bricks for the house. And that helps make, the, make it look nice and finished. And the new family or whoever moves into there will feel very special and get to call that house their own home. So, tomorrow night we will delve more into it. So, this week, I don't know if you've noticed these two boards up here. And we're going to build a miniature wall, each of us. But did you notice when you put your money in the hats, there was a boy's hat and a girl's hat? Yeah. Guess what? We're going to have a competition this week to see who raises more money. Okay? So, tonight I have the totals of how much we raised. And do you, who do you think won the night? All right, who all thinks, by clapping or by yelling? Let's get loud. Who thinks the girls won tonight?
boys, are you going to let them win tomorrow night? No. All right. So how do we raise money? You put them in the boys or the girls' hats when you come in. You saw them standing there. And then um, we'll build the walls together. So tonight I'm going to have Serena help me tag these bricks on these walls. But if you noticed our little construction site out there in the foyer, we're also going to build a house of bricks. Now that's not for you guys to play with, but you can see it as we build the actual brick house, okay? Um, and then each wall will have 25 bricks. So if we, each brick of these and out there will be $10. So tonight the girls get three and a half and the boys get two and a half bricks, okay? And then if we build all the walls, the boys build their whole wall and the girls build their whole wall, that will be $500, guys, that we get to donate to Habitat, okay, for their bricks. Now, at the end of the week, if one team builds a whole wall, we'll put some names in the hat and some names of some ladies and some men that are working with us this week. And they might get water dumped over their head or a pie in the face. Yeah! So, but you have to be on the winning team to put a name in the hat, okay? All right, and at the very end. I wanna make sure you got this part. At the very end, so that's if one team raises 25 bricks. Now, if we raise four walls of 25 bricks, how much money would that be? Does anybody know? One wall is $250. If we raise four walls, how much will that be? Go ahead. A thousand dollars. Sorry. You get to color my hair, and the winning team gets to choose which color you'll color it. But only if you raise a thousand dollars. I'm not coloring it for anything less than a thousand dollars. And if you do $1,000, we'll do my hair and ice water or a pie in the face for somebody else, okay? All right, so there it is this week. So Serena and I are going to go ahead and glue these on. And... Oh, my goodness. I'm thinking Monty would look good like purple. So we're going to march. We're going to go out the same way we came in. Teachers, pre-K will go first. All right. So, and in the hallway is Dermex. So make sure every everybody stops and gets a spur to Dermex. And so every stand up, stand up. We're going to sing our song to go out. <laughs> 